If you're a hunter who likes to process your own meat and make your own jerky, Cabela's has everything you need to make the perfect venison jerky. Clark Winlent is here to show us how quickly and easily it is to make your own jerky. Probably the most important thing for processing deer to me is a good grinder. A good grinder helps you make sausage, make tacos, you can make chili, do all kinds of things, spaghetti, soups. There's lots of things you can do with ground meat. So, you know, I actually own a Cabela's carnivore grinder, one and a half horsepower, and that's exactly what this one is. This is the, new, the newest model, and the cool thing about this one is, is it has this cool tech. You put it in the freezer, and it actually makes this housing really cold. So when that meat goes through there, it doesn't warm the meat at all. It stays really, really cold, and then that helps your ground meat stay a little bit more firm when you're working with it, especially making sausage. The firmer it is, the better it is. And so I'm going to just show you how I grind meat and how easy this is, how much of a beast this machine is. So I'm going to just take some meat, I'm going to stick it in here in the tray and turn it on and we're going to grind some meat. And this, now this, the one thing about this grinder is, is it'll do a lot of meat and it'll do it pretty fast. And you know, you can see I've already ground up about 40 or 50 pounds right here. And I've got just a little bit more to go, about another 10, 15, 20 pounds. That right there will spit it out. We're actually gonna take this ground meat, we're gonna use a jerky blaster and actually season it with a kit from Cabela's, a kit that just makes it super easy. So what I've got in here is I've got five pounds of ground meat I'm gonna go with Cabela's peppered venison jerky. So I've got two packets. Um, I've got the pepper jerky packet. I've got the cure packet. Basically, you just add both of them to it. The cure is, the cure is there so that the bacteria, when you're drying meat, you've gotta have a cure on it. And then I'm basically gonna just take this meat in this tray and I'm gonna just thoroughly mix it up. This is just five pounds. And so I've got the meat pretty thoroughly mixed up. The only other thing you gotta add is just a little bit of water. And so I've got some water measured out here. I mean, I think that that's about a, probably a half cup or a quarter cup that you wanna need. And that just makes it go through that jerky blaster just a little bit easier. And you're thinking, well, how's that gonna go into the meat? Well, if you mix it up, that water will just kind of naturally, the, the meat will just kind of absorb it. And so once I get it mixed up really good, then I'm gonna go to the jerky blaster I'm actually going to take one of the trays of the dehydrator out and we're going to have venison jerky. You know, to load this thing up, you've got an easy loading attachment. It basically just goes and it just screws right on the end. You can put your meat in there real easily. Once you get some in there, you take this plunger and, and it'll just load it and makes it a lot easier than trying to just go, you know, slowly get it in that tube. They've got several different tips that you can use. You can use a round tip. You can use a bigger, a bigger flat tip. I've always liked flat because I feel like it's a little bit easier to, to dehydrate, to, you know, a little quicker on the dehydrator if you're using a flat one, but you got both options. This is a Cabela's 12 tray Pro Series, series dehydrator. And I'm actually putting the last trays in it right now just fit them in there it'll actually hold 12 trays that's the last tray right there now now i'm going to close it up the door is strong it's got a great magnet it stays really good when you power it on you all you got to do is set two things you got to set your temperature and you got to set your time we're ready to go i just heard it boot up and come on check back in about 10 hours that jerky's gonna be ready to eat hey let's see what we got Wow, venison jerky right there. I tell you what, if you got the opportunity, you like great tasting jerky and who doesn't? You know, try some of Cabela's jerky making kit. The dehydrator makes it really simple. This was nine hours at 160 and this is perfect.